You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please? I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. I'd keep low, I was you. Yeah, you got that right. I'm always very careful aiming at the chains whenever that random event comes towards me. Solely for the reason that as I have accidentally shot somebody in the foot and then lost that opportunity altogether, and we don't want to avoid that. Yeah, and I don't mind freeing those guys either, like, you know. Might as well give him the shot. And if we get karma for shooting off the chains, like... I don't know, I guess we don't know really what the guy did. Did he just, like... Did he rob a place, but didn't hurt nobody, and then turned himself in when he knew he was caught? Like, which, you know, is still a bad thing, but still... Like, you get my point. Like, you don't really know what the guy did. So at that point, you're just relieving unnecessary fucking annoyance. We're getting close to the timber camp again. I hope he has the wood to sell, because I would like to get that done as soon as possible. Looks like he does have wood to sell. That's good. Oh, I thought I'd see you again. Pretty impressive out there, huh? Back for some lumber, I assume? I got a wagon out front, already loaded up and ready to go. For you? Let's call it, uh, $75? You won't beat that price anywhere. All right. I'll take it. Very good. The wagon's out front. See you next time. Lay more trees where those came from. All right. Now it is our job to get this over to Caster's Ridge. And then once we get it over there, all that's left is for him to finish the house and we are done with that location. Once we drop this one off, we're gonna go to the last event for the Central Un Union Pacific Real Central Union Railroad event. And then we should be good with that. The most difficult location event is probably trying to get the the next one for the timber seed company to trigger. It can be kind of a pain. But we will also be getting a new stolen hat as well, because if we don't get it now, then we will lose that opportunity altogether. Gotta be careful around these turns. Okay.
I have actually wrecked this, uh, this, uh, carriage around that corner before, and then I had to reload a save. So it can happen. Just be careful if you're taking this over there. That's my piece of advice. Or at least take that corner very slow. This was a bad idea from the start. See, do we need to park it somewhere else? Okay, hold on. Let's uh, park it closer to where the dot is. That'll probably do the trick. At least we don't have to work now. Look at all that wood. I don't believe it. I can't thank you enough, friend. You're paying me back, though. Oh, of course, of course. Just as soon as we sell the house, you'll get your money back, and then some. I'll be back later for what you owe me. I'll have it just as soon as we manage to sell this place off. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance here. I think this is the, the other Shire horse, I think. So that's why I'm saving right now, just in case if it completely messes up. The journal entries. But I'm pretty confident right now. Aha! Dark Bay. Okay, so we studied the Dark Bay and the Light Gray, and we just have one more Shire Horse that we're going to get in a mission. Very happy I didn't have to load up a safe for that. Thank goodness. Come 
we go to the front and come out the back then. Or we go in the back and come out the back. I got it. I got it. We go in the back, and then send you out front to meet the deputy. All right. Okay. Hold on a sec. That's gonna get my toes curled up. You got a problem with that? Because you're in the wrong gang if you do. I don't have a problem with getting curled up. I'd just rather not. Call yourself a man? More of a man than you ever was. <laughs> All right, you too, yellow. Yeah, I guess we'll get back to planning then. You got us a plan yet, or are you just letting out gas? Whip your hollering. We ain't got a plan. We're just gonna wait. And everyone bunk down for the night. I said, bunk down. All right, all right, I heard you. Okay, we finally came across an O'Driscoll camp. We're gonna come across a lot of these. And we're going to clear out as many of them as we can. It's actually part of getting 100% with the compendium. So, we got to do this eventually. And the great loot. Get it! Get out! Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're going to take some of this. And just keep moving. That is not what I wanted to do. That's probably most likely the best way that we're going to get sawed off shotguns trained. Because uh, we'll be able to fight off that small amount of force with just a sawed-off shotgun without much um, trouble. We had a little bit there, but we ended up being doing fine in the end. Unfortunately, we burned a lot of stuff. Oh shit! That's right. I forgot about these guys. What's that? There he is. Ugh. Goodbye. I always forget that uh, it's very possible that two more of the gang shows up. I should probably mention too, I don't know if it showed it, but uh, I'm definitely not average weight anymore. Which kind of sucks. I was trying really hard to keep that average weight. Honestly, if I'd prefer it, I'd rather be underweight than uh, above the weight in this game. Because I'd rather have the stamina bonus in the end, rather than the health. But, um, it's just very hard to keep the weight up in the game. Just because it's very easy to naturally forget to eat. I'm gonna try to get in the habit of eating once we get through, um, the, uh, probably the next story mission we're doing. But even then, it's probably very unlikely. I don't know why it's so hard to, like, get back from underweight half the time. It's 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 just kind of a hassle. In the end, it's not really worth it. There's only one mission where it's really mentioned. And I think that mission is actually broken. Like, it doesn't matter how much you eat or gain weight or anything. It will still give you the same response. I don't know if that they've changed that recently. But it's it's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we can't take the gun oil anymore. It was destroyed. Or can we still inspect that ammo box? Oh, heck yeah. Valerian root. I oh, crap. I forgot about that. And you can even get Valerian root random too. Okay, let's look in our satchel. We have two Valerian root. We're gonna drink those immediately. They are great for Deadeye. Yum, yum, yum. I'm 
And then I think we were gonna smoke some premium cigarettes, I believe. Yes, we were. So we could pick this up. Who'd we get this time? Miss Maud Delancey. Let me actually... Hold on, I'm, I'm looking for her. Looking for her. Is she in, uh... Painters, riots, and poets. Ah, right here. It's okay, so I got her marked. Ooh, Kentucky bourbon? No, no. Ugh. I'm always picking up bodies I don't want to pick up. Get out of here. I want the Kentucky bourbon. I want my liquor. Thank you. All right, now let's get back to what we were doing originally. Okay, it's okay. Let's okay, get out of here, Whiskey. All right, we are coming up close to the final stage of the Central Union Railroad. There isn't really much, much to this stage other than they give us a reward for helping them out earlier. And, uh-oh. Now, what we got hey, here? You don't want to involve... ...for yourself with this. Hey, get yourself out of there. Just minding my own business. What a joke. Hey! What are you doing there? You don't want to see He drew on me first. Easy, whoa. Sure, I was antagonizing him, but that doesn't matter. And it looks like he robbed these poor people, so... I don't have a whole lot of sympathy oh, for him. Now let's get out of here before they think we did this. Yep. He did draw on me at first. He did draw on me first. Just saying. I was going to do a Mexican standoff with him. But he pulled before I even had a moment to load up the bar. Hello, mister. I know a laundry that can get that out of We're nearly done. Would you believe it? I'm glad you passed by. We've got some leftover supplies. Feel free to help yourself to any of them. Least I can do for all the help you gave me. Sure. Maybe I'll take a look. Yeah, so he just simply gives you some extra supplies. And I believe the supply tent is over here. Gormo rum, Kentucky bourbon, some more Kentucky bourbon, some canned vegetables. By some supplies, you mean all of them, correct? That's what I assumed. wonder where he went. Oh, there he is. Maybe I'll check back on you later, then. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well, that's really all that there is to it. I don't think there's really another tent that would be the supplies tent, so... 
now that they seem to be underway, let's get out of here and let them finish their job. And that's pretty much it for the Central Union Pacific Railroad. It's not, it's not, central. It's not central West. It is the Central Union Railroad, not Central Union's Pacific Railroad. I'm thinking of Hell on Wheels, which is a good show. I like that show a lot. I've actually been thinking about binge-watching it lately. Got him. Just hold on there, boy. Let's go, boy. Um, you know what? We're going to take this actual carcass back to Pearson so he can get a lot more food out of it. Why not? Oh, sorry. I did not mean to do that. Okay, I don't think we actually need... We actually only need two deer, so... Do I keep that other deer? Yeah, I mean, like, what am I gonna do? Might as well. I need to figure out how many deer in total that the crafter needs outside of Pearson. So, with that being said, let's just go to the camp. We'll drop off this deer carcass so it can add towards the carcass and the deer pelts. And then if it's still asking for deer pelts for crafting, we'll give all of them. And then we'll probably make our way to Appleseed Timber Company. And then try to get the last little task they have for us open. Okay. You check on Pearson out there recently? No, I'll go see him in a bit. All right, so we're about to go drop this carcass off the Pearson, and if it works how I said it's supposed to look. You look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan. Just the roses, thorns. 
You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. <laughs> oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uncle is a Riz god. He's just got that freaking Riz, dude. All right, let's donate this carcass. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for All right, I will. There, so we, we donated really it for crafting. This. And it should have donated as meat as well. Like, it should have done two birds, one stone kind of thing. Donate it for crafting. Able to make nice with that. All right, and then it, as you see, now we can donate this deer pelt for funds. But I want to keep these for the trapper that he was just talking about. Uh, we'll donate these for we provisions, and we'll keep the rest. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. All right. See, and there's a lot of different things that we can make. But we kind of need to progress the story to really start making them. And we have to donate some carcasses. The pronghorn carcass is one of them. But there is a couple of these things that are going to be harder to find. That's for sure. We also need to get a wolf carcass, which we'll come across some wolves very soon. It's the moose you, antlers Mr. that are going to be a absolute freaking pain, hey. dude. Hey. Evening, Arthur. Hey, Tilly. Hey. You recover from Sean's party? Yeah. Don't know if he has. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Don't worry, man. I'm here to help you. You all right? Oh, this looks bad. Here, let me get it. Let me get it. No, I'm not all right. It's real bad. Help me now, or, or I'm done for. Keep at it. It's okay. I got you, man. I. Oh God, you did it! Praise Jesus! Oh God. I gotta, gotta grab something for for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for it. you. Saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a take a minute now. Here, drink this <laughs> for the pain. <laughs> My leg feels like it's like it's on fire. Well, I'm glad to be of help, man. If you're wondering why I stopped myself, I stopped myself because that's actually can be a journal entry. But then I remembered that the journal entry is only updated once you like encounter him later. It's kind of like the snake bite guy. You can encounter him in town and he'll like pay for something. But I believe that's only if the hunter was around here or in Ansburg. It's either one of the two. If you do it once, then you'll get the journal entry. But if the second time, you won't get a second one. But it only is written in once you actually get the uh, the person like you encounter them in town.
Look who it is. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you right now. We're good on supplies. I ran out of lumber a couple of hours ago. Guess we'll come back some other time. Okay, here is what we are gonna do. I am going to try to get this to activate. So I'm probably yep. gonna save and reload a bunch, okay? So expect to see a bunch of that. guy's getting attacked by wolves, and that's actually perfect, because wolves were the next animal I wanted to study. Oh, oh, you there! Please, help me! I'm out! Oh, God, I'm out! Oh, crap. Oops. Whiskey must have still been getting scared off. God! That animal is a goddamn menace. Oh, you saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. All right. And this will add gray wolves to our journal and compendium. We'll just get a skin. We won't get an actual study, unfortunately. But that's okay. I can't remember. Did it... Was it perfect? I, I didn't see if it was perfect or not. Horse cargo. Let's look at that. Yes, it was perfect. That's great. Now, should I go... Hmm... Yes. Another perfect wolf pelt. We got two. We need two pelts. Well, we need three perfect pelts for the camp crafting. Okay, and then one wolf carcass. So as long as we get two pelts and one wolf yeah. carcass for Pearson, we'll get everything we need for the actual um, crafting there. Where am I going? Yes, we are heading... Should be heading this direction. So everything else we would have to give to... the actual, um... trapper. Yeah. Which, honestly, since it's not exactly nighttime yet... Which, that's where we're trying to hit for the, the Apple Seed Timber Company. We're going to actually go visit the Trapper. He's over here. Usually, I don't like to visit the Trapper until after the next mission. But since Pearson mentioned, it, mentioned him to us, we might as well go see him. And sell him the deer pelts that we have. Hell, I might even say let's give him the wolf pelts we have, too. When it comes to what crafting I try to complete and when, I usually try to aim for getting the um the camp crafting done first. To me, that just makes sense to do. All right, you know, I should have just taken one of the wolf carcasses with us because we could have sold it to him for more money, but eh, it's whatever. Okay, let's take a look at it. Let's see, okay, please take this deer pelt. I hope you make something pretty with that. Um, take a wolf heart. I don't use those. God, should we just sell him? 
should we just sell him that? I'm trying to decide if that's kind of the way to go. I'm starting to think that is the way to go. Um, yeah. Might as well. Let's do it. You seem the ambitious um, type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique belt. It'll be worth sorry, I'm, I'm putting down what I gave him. To make sure I, I keep track of that. Much appreciated. Finds my load. Yeah. We can sell him as a permanent shot in Saint Denis and do some traveling stall that can be found in the wilderness. He has three different wilderness stalls. I think he should have had like maybe four to five, but that's just a personal preference for me. I'll go into more detail in it when we come across like hunting in the future. But um, yeah, I think it's, he has one here, he has one over here, and then he has one up here. Now this one right here is my favorite one. Well, he has four. There's one in San Denis, so there's technically it covers this region, this region, and then this region just kind of feels kind of left out. I am assuming the one right here is supposed to apply to half of this, and the other half applies to that one. But I think he would have benefited from maybe having one up north, like right here. I don't know. It just seems kind of odd that this area is kind of covered by this one over here. And this one's just kind of like oddly there. I think he has a trapper to... He has like one trapper like right here for all the rest of the epilogue area. And it's kind of annoying. He has a bunch over here. It's ridiculous. I'm going to save so we don't lose that prog... Oh, I can't save? Why not? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? This way. I'd like to save because now I'm paranoid. Thank you. Wanna keep this? You no, think no, you're no, clever, no, huh? No. You leave her be. I ain't afraid to get blood on my hands. Okay, now you've uh, asked for you it. Got no, uh. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have threatened a woman, dude. It's that simple. Who do you think you are? I'm gonna put me face down in the mud. You know, sometimes you gotta... You gotta handle business that way. He was gonna hurt her, so we had to step in. Well... I'm not saying she's gonna handle it herself. I just would have much preferred not to be a bystander. Yeah. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, these were what I was looking for. Shit. Shit, I don't want it to fucking get away. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just got ourselves some Timberwolves. 
If you're wondering why I didn't like that one getting away, it's because honestly, I don't know. I, I, I felt like if I was to shoot it and then basically have it bleed out, I'd rather put it out of its misery. Because the only reason I shot it once was so it would run away and I could study it and track it for the game. So at that point, I was like, okay, I'll kill it and then at least sell its skin for something, even though it's not going to be perfect quality. Okay, we're going to take you now. Uh, you. So I, I, at that point, I didn't want it to get away. I don't know. I know it's not real. It's a game. But on principle, it's just like, eh. You guys see what I hit? What I hit? Oh my gosh! When I tell you that sometimes hunting can get quite um ridiculous. What'd you hit, whiskey? What'd you hit? I don't see it. You see anything? Come on now, boy. I tell you, man. Sometimes the horse physics in this game. Yeah. Tell you what, that's karma. Easy, or, easy. Oh no way! No way. A crow already got to it, and now we can't actually use it. So, I just killed that poor thing for no reason. I hate that. Like, I actually hate that. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not exactly redeeming myself, am I? Easy, boy. Gotta be done. No, not really, but whatever. You gotta hurry before the wolf carcass loses its value and decomposes. Ah, these both weren't even worth it. Come on, man. Well, at least we could sell it. Yeah, I wasn't getting the, uh... The Timber Seed Company event to activate, so I thought, you know, I should leave the camp and do something. And then come back, and the Timber Wolves, which is the other version of wolves in the game, they're Grey Wolves and Timber Wolves, were actually the next animal on my list to get. So I figured, hey, let's uh, let's go hunt for these animals, and then we'll get those entries. We're just gonna take the long way around. So yeah, now we got the two next animal entries that were on my list. I should fill up my dead eye. I wish I'd fill it up with. Um, fine brandy, nah. Open guarma rum. stop by to see what's in that later, okay? We're kind of in a hurry. We can get this back to Pearson before it decomposes. So at this point, we should be able to have... We'll get the wolf carcass. We'll get the... We got all the deer for Pearson. How you doing, boy? And now we should have the wolf carcass done. And then we should have two perfect wolf pelts. We need one more perfect wolf pelt for Pearson. And then we can give deer and wolf pelts all the remaining of the, the, uh, um, I, I can't think of the name. The, the hunter, the, uh, you 
You know what? I might just do this this way. Trapper, trapper. I literally thought of it as I was backing out the map. That's what it is. Yeah, hunting doesn't always want to go my way, ever. Honestly, I just still feel bad for how it turned out with that last wolf. You know? Like, I know it's a video game. It's not real. And I mean, I've said this in the past. I had a friend who was like, was like, why are you hunting wolves? Because he really likes wolves, and for the most part, he didn't like how in the first game they made wolves act because it wasn't realistic and stuff. And, uh, like, I kind of, like, laughed at him for that. But, you know, I play this game, and then I hate it when, uh, I have to end up shooting, like, an animal or, like, even if it's a bear, a wolf, or anything multiple times with a gun that's just unnecessary when it could be, like, a one-hit kill. Because to me, like, it's, like, role-playing, thinking they are real. It's, but they're not. You gotta remember that. But still... Like, if that was a real-life situation, like, the wolf doesn't know any better. It's like, yeah, they're gonna eat you, and it's kill or be killed, but... At that point, I was just trying to kill it so it didn't bleed out. And, like, suffer longer. You know, which, you know, probably... I don't know, ask a hunting expert, because I'm not a hunting expert. I don't know if that literally, like, maybe the wolf could have handled that bullet wound and healed on its own. I, like, I don't know. Like, I've heard things like that before, but I could be wrong about that. So let me know down in the comments below if, like, what I did was completely unnecessary. If it was, like, a real-life situation. If my reasoning was completely dumb. I'd understand why. And we all know it's a video game at the end of the day, but please tell me how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna take you. Not now, Hosea. I'm kind of busy. Dutch. How do you do? Ooh, that looks heavy as me. It probably is as heavy as one of us. Good morning. Got something for you, Pearson. Could really use some good meat for this. A perfect wolf carcass. Take that. Um, take this for funds. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. No, nah, that's fine. We'll get some six. We'll get sixty cents out of it. Uh, take these wolf hearts. Good job, Arthur. And then take this last last wolf pelt for crafting. Oh yes, I'll be able to make you something out of this. All right, let's see what we can make. Uh, just a second. I'm kind of kind of tracking where. What I got available to me. Okay, so Thank you, Arthur. Good morning. Actually, let's donate this meat as well. We end up getting that meat really fast, so at that point we should be feeding the camp. You know what I'm saying? Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Okay, crafting upgrades. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be a nice addition around here. Okay, main campfire. That's right. Now that we turned in the wolf carcass, we can make this, a wolf skull. I think you're gonna be popular after that. Great decor. <laughs> and then I think we can use this. Use one wolf pelt for Yes, for the Legend of the East satchel, but this one isn't gonna come for a while. So let's just go ahead and actually add this to the camp. That'll make everyone happy, I'm sure. Yeah, this is definitely a good choice to get, for sure. Now, other than getting one more wolf pelt to him, like we pretty much am close to getting done with Pearson with the amount of animals that we have discovered now. Good morning, Arthur. You'll work it out, Judge. You always do. You know what? Let me get some food. How's things? I was just complaining how I can't stay on weight. Maybe I should be eating more. Huh. 
Must be because I've been giving him a lot of meat lately. All right. Okay. It's about to fall. Timber. Oh shit. <laughs> I did not know that the horse would freak out if you're that close. That's wild. I actually never knew that. Alright, this guy has the hat that we are looking for. Since we haven't been able to activate the event yet, I figured we could at least get the hat and then come back. Because if you get the hat, and as long as you don't kill anybody, then they'll still accept your help. They'll be a bit like, oh, well you made me real mad. I'm getting steamed now. But other than that, they're fine. They don't care. We're gonna follow this guy till he's a bit more secluded. My hope is that we can get him when he's far out, and then nobody will really notice, and we can leave with the hat without there being an issue. I'm kinda hoping he goes to this tree over here. It looks like that's where he's going. Okay, we got an auto save. Um, I'll feel comfortable by drinking this. Hello, sir. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Who's this coward? Don't stop. I'm talking. Look out. Relax. Just shut Let me up. Mila Turn you, man. Oh. Oh my God, he's even running farther away from them. This is great. No, it's not great. No, damn it. I was kind of hoping. Where does that go? Oh, there it is. No, no, get away from me. Get away from me, doggo. I just want the hat. Okay, you're a good dog. I, I'm not mad at you. I understand what you're doing. Why did I not put on the mask? I never assaulted anyone. I just wanted a hat. They'll untie him. They'll untie him. Alright, now let's escape them. Well, that could have gone a little bit smoother. The last time I attempted that, I was able to basically tie them up and get the hat without them noticing. I don't know how I really did that. But it wasn't being weird. It wasn't letting me melee him. It was just letting me antagonize him. But regardless, we got the hat. So, hooray. Now, probably when we go back, the foreman is not going to want to talk to us. But, if we can get the other event to start, then... He will basically forgive us of what has happened. So it all works out in the end. I'm going to save and then attempt to try to get the event to start. Because that one and the one for Caster's Ridge are the only two left before we start the next mission. And that is what I really want to do right now.
Hello, mister. Ah, good to see you again. We're moving along here slow as ever, as you can see. Kind of like rolling molasses up a steep sandy hill with these two. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Huh. Tell that to them. Yep. Your pistol do the talking. Fine by me. Your move. <laughs> Good evening. I know we've already done this one, but I like doing duels, so I'm going to take the chance to do it. Son of a bitch! Easy as that. That's the second time I've done that, so maybe you'll learn your lesson. Welcome back. I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting uh the next event and the timber seed company to trigger, so I will cut to immediately when I get it, but you will probably, I don't know how it's going to turn out and what random events I'm going to encounter while trying to get this to trigger. So, we're probably going to see a couple of things before that activates, so hopefully it's soon. I really hope it's soon. But I think at the very least we'll probably get Caster's Ridge finished up by the time that it wants to trigger for us, so let's just hope that the game blesses us with the the wonderful chance of random events in that it doesn't take forever so yeah <laughs> i hate i hate chance i i suck at chance but you know it is what it is it will i've had it in, like come up for me before even when it was like struggling to give it to me but i i know eventually it will it will do it will come to us it just takes some time and some patience and we gotta kind of force the game to kind of eventually give it to us, but it will come. <laughs> 